tempted to read the whole book of Habakkuk, but I, I won't. But I will read two or three verses from chapter two. I will stand on my guard post, which is from the word shamar, guard post, the word for watchman. I'm going to be a watchman, a sentry, and station myself on the rampart and keep watch to see what he'll speak to me. Keep watch to see, because that word see means to also consider, think about, see by revelation. So that's why it says what he will speak. He's going to listen and see if he can get the meaning, consider what's being said. How I may reply when I'm reproved. Then the Lord answered me and said, record the vision. Inscribe it on tablets. That the one who reads it may run. For the vision is yet for the appointed time. It hastens toward the goal. That's fascinating, isn't it? I don't know that I've ever been given a promise very few promises, let me say, have ever been given by God really come hastily. So that word kind of needs a little reflection, doesn't it? A little, yeah. a little defining because the context that I'm about to share with you when this was significant, uh, really significant in my life, uh, what resulted from that has been anything but fast. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Of course, 20, 30 years is like a, a wink to God. So sometimes I wish he would talk to us in our language. Like, like I know this is fast for you 30 years from now, a thousand years is as a day, God outside of time, but would you maybe remember that for us, that's an eternity? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. I know you do all things well. So, when it tarries, what do we do? Well, we, of course, we persevere, right? Several years ago, the Lord moved me into a study of the concept of what of a watchman, mentioned here in this passage. One of the interesting things that I found was that the three words translated watchman in scripture mean not only uh, to protect as in a defensive preserving guarding sense like a watchman on a wall but the words also were used to uh, Translate, uh, translated as laying siege to something. So back in the day, you know, when they, when they would take a city, sometimes they, they don't need to lose men here. We don't need to storm this wall and let them throw rocks on our heads and shoot arrows into us. We're just going to surround this city and nobody's coming in and out for two, three, four, five years, however long it takes. And then when they all die of hunger or surrender first, we'll take over. And that's that's what they did. <clears throat> so because of the concept of surrounding and watching the city to make sure no one was allowed to come in and out, it was the word watchman laying siege to us. And that's when the Lord spoke to me. And it really was encouraging. But that's when he spoke to me and said, you know, as an intercessor, some of the things I assign you to do will not be just decrees, they will be sieges. And you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to get yourself ready for the long haul, no matter how long it takes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and forget about the timing as far as the end. And just listen to me and what I want you to do along the way. And I'll tell you when it's time and so thousands of prayers later and God's uh, birthing of an amazing movement in the earth now 
of prayer, of intercession, of understanding what it means to be the ecclesia. Spiritual warfare. And the, the, you know, the, the whole process when it, all this begins and the pendulum swings way over and there's extreme and imbalance and people are, you know, weird with it. And, you know, this is this how it works. And then, but he matures the movement, and brings it back in balance. And, and now there's another truth established. And we know how to do prayer journeys now. And we know how to go across the country and stop places and make decrees and uproot evil as we did yesterday Amen. because that's all a part of the siege god says i'm gonna do this and he's looking ahead 30 years and saying these guys right now they wouldn't have the foggiest idea how to do this but i'll get them there i'll get them there because i'm birthing a prophetic movement and an apostolic movement and i'm going to mature these people i don't need them to be perfect or have full understanding right now. I just need some willing hearts that are flexible, humble enough to be willing to change and admit when they got it wrong, but I'll show them how to do this. Abraham. And I'll have them where I need them when I need them there. And if I have to, I'll wake a man up from Washington State and say, Get yourself to D.C. today. I need you to remind a guy of, a, of a, an experience he had 30 years ago. Wow. Wow. Because I'm trying to confirm him that this is Mount Karma week. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 And I'm trying to confirm to him that the phrase he heard, tear down this temple of Baal. I'm trying to confirm to him that that's me talking to him. Now get yourself on the airplane. I said, that's probably an expensive ticket, wasn't it? He said, yeah, it was. I didn't tell him he was probably there for me. <laughs> I'm sure the Lord used him. He's, he's a good, strong man. I'm sure the Lord had other things in mind, too. But I know a part of it was for me. Well, I probably should pay for his ticket, too. not I? <laughs> that's what you're thinking, isn't it, Tim? I could see that all over you. <clears throat> I'm going to pay for his ticket. I'll find his address somehow and I'll pay for his plane ticket. Does that make you feel better? It does. Okay. No, don't, don't steal his reward. Don't steal his reward. Thank you. I received that. <clears throat> so I'm saying this because we're not finished with the siege. But I want you to be encouraged. I know, I know you are, but I want you to be encouraged more. I want you to know we are moving with the Lord. Yes. We, Amen. He's doing this. Amen. And even though the little detours come and the, the seeming failures come, he's, he's big enough, wise enough to navigate us through, around, change the things he needs to change, and get us where we need to get. And this revival is coming. Yes. I know it's here, but it's coming. Yes. Okay. It's, it's in its early stage. And then as it intensifies, we're going to do what I think it was Clay was saying. We're going to reform. Yeah. Yeah. A holy, holy movement of God is coming to this nation. Amen. That will transform. Awaken and transform. 